हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू राकेश वालसा यूट्यूब चानल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्किंग अबउट हाउ टू डिटर्मेन द शे फंक्शन फर् ए थ्री नोडेड बार एलमेंट वित् नाचुल कोआर्डेट सिस्टम लेट इस टेक वन बार एलमेंट हियर ऐम गोइंग टू ड्रा वन फ्री बॉल डायग्राम फॉर बार एलमेंट ईच एलमेंट हैविंग टू नोड्स This is the one end node one. This is the another node two. Let us take one more node in the intermediate point of this element. This is three. At node one, natural coordinate zeta one equal to minus one. At node two, natural coordinate zeta two equal to one. At node three, natural coordinate zeta three equal to zero. In this case, there are three nodal unknowns. That is alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three. Hence, a polynomial with three generalized coordinates as u equal to alpha one plus alpha two zeta plus alpha three zeta square. In the previous problem. Uh, in the previous problem, the bar element having only two nodes. Here, uh, here the bar element having three nodes. Two nodes are two endpoints, and third node is intermediate point of that element. At node one, this is the equation number one. At node, at node one. That is zeta one equal to minus one. Displacement at node one u one equal to alpha one. Now substitute zeta equal minus one in the equation one. We get u one equal to alpha one minus alpha two plus al alpha three. That means zeta one minus one whole square means plus one. Similarly at node two. Zeta two equal to plus one. Displacement at node two equal to u two equal to alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three. At node three, zeta three equal to zero. Now substitute zeta three equal zero in equation one. We get u3 equal to alpha 1. Remain two terms are zeros. Now write these three equations: u1, u2, and u3 in the matrix form. That is. Displacement vector u1. U two, U three equal to square matrix. That is one minus one plus one, one 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 zero zero into unknown coefficients alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three. If you multiply these two matrices, you can get u1 equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 plus alpha 3, u2 equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3, u3 equal to alpha 1 plus 0 alpha 2 plus 0 alpha 3. From this equation, we need to determine unknown coefficients alpha 1. Alpha two and alpha three. That equal to when the square matrix goes goes to outset, uh, it is written as inverse matrix one minus one 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 one, one zero zero inverse equal into displacement vector u one. 
u2 and u3 here we need to determine this uh, inverse of this square matrix for example a equal to square matrix a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 a inverse uh, a equal to 1 by det a into augment Aug, uh, transportation per augmented matrix that means a11 capital a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 here a11 means A11 equal to determined for uh, after eliminating first row and first column uh, find the determined for remaining elements that means A22 A23 A31 A32 A33 the determinant is AD minus BC A22 A33 minus a23 into a32 similarly you need to find out a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 you can also apply the signs first one is positive next minus next positive minus positive minus positive minus positive here det a means det a equal to first element a11 into after eliminating first row and first column find the determinant for remaining elements that is a22 a33 minus a23 into a32 next second element minus a12 into after eliminating first row and second column write the determinant for remaining elements that is a21 into a33 minus a23 into a31 plus the last element a13 into after eliminating first row and third column find the determinant for remaining element that means a21 into a32 a21 into a32 minus a22 into a31 this is the formula for uh, to find the inverse for the given 3 by 3 matrix One by uh, here, uh, I'm going to write the same equation here that is alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three equal to inverse matrix that is. 1 minus 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 inverse into displacement vector delta e 1 by delta e means 1 into determinant of remaining element that is 1 into 0 minus 1 into 0 so that is 1 into 0 next change the sign that is plus 1 into eliminating first row and second column 
determinant for remaining elements 1 into 0 minus 1 into 1 that is 0 minus 1 next third element element in first row and third column determinant for remaining elements 1 into 0 minus 1 into 1 that is 0 minus 1 next uh, argument transportation matrix that is <coughs> determinant for a11 that means eliminating first row first row and first column determinant for uh, remaining elements 1 into 0 minus 1 into 0 that is 0 next change the sign eliminating first row and second column Determinant for remaining elements 1 into 0, 0, minus 1 into 1, minus 1, minus into minus plus 1. Similarly, you need to find out remaining elements a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a24, a32, a33. Transpose into displacement vector here transportation means change the rows into chain the columns this is the 1 by 2 minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 now multiply with uh, minus that is 0 minus 1 plus 1 0 1 1 2 0 minus 2 transpose into displacement vector delta e uh, now apply the transpose that means change the rows into change the columns that is 0 0 2 minus 1 1 0 1 1 minus 2 into displacement vector delta e this is the equation number 2 now substitute equation number 2 into equation 1 <coughs> here the equation number 1 means u equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 zeta plus alpha 3 zeta square now write in the matrix form that is 1 zeta zeta square into alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 now substitute equation number 2 in equation number 1 equation number 2 in equation number 1 that is u equal to 1 zeta zeta square into that is a 1 by 2 square matrix 0 0 2 minus 1 1 0 1 1 minus 2 into displacement vector delta e now multiply with uh, here 1 row into 3 columns this is the 3 rows into 3 columns the final matrix is 1 row into 3 columns uh, 1 into 0 0 zeta into minus 1 minus zeta zeta square into 1 zeta square minus zeta plus zeta square into 1 by 2 that means by 2 the next one 1 into 0, 0, zeta into 1 plus zeta, zeta square into 1 plus zeta square into 1 by 2, zeta plus zeta square by 2. The next one, 1 into 2, 2, zeta into 0, 0, zeta square minus into minus 2, minus 2. So into 1 by 2 means that is 1 minus zeta square into 
into displacement vector delta e you can also write uh, here you can take the zeta is common 1 by 2 into zeta into zeta minus 1 uh, 1 by 2 take zeta is common that is zeta plus 1 the last one is 1 minus zeta square into delta e you can write as uh, n1 n2 n3 into delta e here here n1 equal to 1 by 2 zeta into zeta minus 1 and n2 equal to 1 by 2 zeta into zeta plus 1 n3 equal to 1 minus zeta square uh, these are the shape functions for a three noted bar element with natural coordinate system uh, you can also draw the shape functions for the three noted bar element this is the node 1, node 2 and this is the node 3 for node 1 you can draw the shape function for like this that means uh, shape function uh, from minus 1 to 0 next one is 0 to plus 1 let us see this is the plus 1 from 0 to this value is increases uh, at node 3 the, uh, the shape function is maximum this is the n3 this is n2 these are the shape functions uh, variation of shape functions in three noted bar element i hope uh, this problem is uh, very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends.